For thousands of years, human beings have had a connection to art. First painting on caves, later in cathedrals, and more commonly on canvas. Today, our drive to create and share with community can be seen during the Imadnari Art Festival at Mission Santa Barbara. Although many people will visit the festival and admire the art, few actually know who Madnari are. I'm sorry, what is what? <laughs> I don't know. No idea. It's one of my favorite weekends in Santa Barbara. Oh, it just means coming out on a beautiful Saturday, Sunday, or Monday afternoon in the end of May. That's a good question. I came here actually to find out. In 16th century Italy, when artists had trouble finding steady work, they began painting on the streets for a coin of approval from passers-by. These are the people who draw the Madonna on the sidewalk in Italy. One would be a Madonnara or a Madonnaro, depending on gender. It is a um, tradition that goes back 500 years where the um, artists would, would, stand, would, would work outside the cathedrals reproducing the uh, old master's paintings of the Madonna and Child. To Mad Nari, the festival celebrates the gathering of family, friendship, and the Santa Barbara community. We get together, we play, we draw, we create images. It's a gathering of, of the tribe, if you will. I've been doing it with a couple of my friends. We've been working together and understanding that it's not about, you know, who shines, it's about, you know, making the piece as, as a whole look really well, you know. After a lengthy process of planning their image and setting up a detailed blueprint, the challenge becomes taking it from the page and placing it on the street. It was overlay after overlay and idea after idea and fine-tuning it back and forth. It is kind of hard for me to, to figure out, to divide it up into 12 spaces and then that equals the footage. You kind of have to suck up the, the excess chalk. You know, we have a nice breeze, but that breeze basically makes the artwork fuzzy. So by using the vacuum, it helps us out with the details. Our neighbors, our friends, our neighbors' children. Putting it all together and making a collage out of it. We try to go for like something that may be more impacting. Like when people see it, they, they really like it. Number one, it's a performance. And it's about educating other people. And it's about other people seeing the process, you know, and inside me I get in a zone that's just like in a whole different, uh, it's, a, it's a place in your soul. Although these images will only last on the mission grounds for about a week, the impact of arts and arts education on the children that are benefited from this festival will last a lifetime. The proceeds from this event go to supporting art activities and art programs for the children in our community. To some, it may be hard to accept why artists would spend so much time and effort creating beautiful images that will only last a few days. But to the artist, the festival means much more. Everything is ephemeral, but some of the ephemeral is divine. Art is a very important part of expressions, inner expressions of the heart, and this is a wonderful way to support that. 18 years ago was the first time I came and sponsored a square. I have a karate school called South Coast Karate, and I wanted the uh, kids in my school to be a part of this festival. I like doing it because it's like I get to hang out with all my karate friends. It contributes on more than one level because the kids see the artwork being done, and it, it's irresistible. They just they know they want to do that. The Imad Nari Festival benefits the Children's Creative Project, which provides over 50,000 children in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo counties with resident artist workshops and performances by professional touring artists. Bring arts into the schools. Without that, we wouldn't have a whole section of culture. Whenever you can help the local community like that, and the kids especially, a great thing to do. The money that goes into this going to kids is, I think it's a, it's a great thing. Otherwise, you know, I don't know what the kids would do for, uh, in regards of art. My last day of school, I'm having a little mini street painting festival with my kids and I'm going to educate them about um, this specific art form. But um, I'm always, as, whenever I can, I integrate it into um, any lesson I'm doing. It's a shame that we don't have more arts education in the schools. 
but it has to be integrated in because I'm not allowed to specifically just teach, you know, just art. I don't have the supplies I need at all. I end up paying, spending a lot of my own money. By doing the art, they learn to appreciate art and our society is so much better off with appreciation of the arts. Art is a very important expression of the development of a person. There's the intellectuals, you know, of academia, and art and writing and poetry express the, 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 the attitudes of the heart. I'm also really happy that I got the experience to be able to draw. Not only does e Nari contribute to children's arts education, it helps build and strengthen the unifying spirit which represents one of Santa Barbara's most valued aspects, community. It's a wonderful privilege for us to invite these people into our home. And the mission is, this is the mission for everybody. It doesn't matter whether you're Catholic, what religion you are, what denomination, or if you have no denomination. It just brings everybody together and gives everybody a chance to see what local people are doing and come out and enjoy good food and drinks and music and stuff. You know, it's just really nice that there's a great festival. I think it's a great thing for the community to come together like this. Being proud of being from, you know, Santa Barbara and representing where you're from. This is your home. This is our historical roots. Santa Barbara is a beautiful, beautiful community. It's rich in diversity, but the mission is its center and its roots. And we take that as a privileged position to be in to support this community in a unifying effort.